Ah. <sighs> Gary. I'm sorry. I can do better than that. Meadow on the clothing, this is where you need to start at. Sp Spencer's gifts. You're the top armored core streamer right now. I might as well be playing it. This is just as hard. Add a mech cockpit overlay. <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody just give me one that has opacity? <laughs> right. Can, Can we put the... Uh, can we put the... Alright, here's what I want. I want the, the crosshair in the middle. And I want all the, the HUD information. I don't want, like, the guns on the side. I want... I'm walking around in a mech with all the little UI information. Hold on a second. <laughs> this is this is kind of like what even is this? Is this from Fallout? Like what is this even from? What game is this from? Hold on. I have to act like a spacecraft, right? This is this is Mech Warrior. Let's go. Really, uh, really organic limbs that this mech has. Weird. Add a bunch of robot sounds in the background. Yeah, that has to be there. Robot walking sound effects. Giant robot walking. Hold on, let me... This might be loud. Hold on. <laughs> do robot mic? Can I even do that here? Hold on. This one looks good. Oh, that's okay. Oh, uh, now I will play this one. Give me tickets, 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 tickets. Tickets. Oh, oh almost. Almost a hundred. One more, one more, one more. Almost a hundred. Oh, 40 is okay. I think I'm done with this one, though. Candy! You guys have frost and shoes? It was incomprehensible. Another bonus. Whoa! 800 tickets! Oh, you've got 800 tickets there. Oh, give it a spin. Oh, a thousand tickets. Shit. Dude, 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 I just, I just got 385 tickets on that machine. Do you want to hang out? Hey, hey. Hey, do you want to hang out with me? I just got 400 tickets on the machine. Dude, look, going for it again. Oh, almost. Oh, holy. Hey. Two, 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 hey, two in a row. All right, we're going to do 5,000 three times in a row. This is kid roulette. It really is. I I had one of these in a local arcade. And I'm telling you right now. I I would just sit there and it'd be like, oh, come on, come on. This, it's going to be green this time. I may as well have had a cigar in my mouth just sitting there. No, no, no. Everybody's got to go blue or it's going to fuck it up for everybody here. Everybody go blue. The little green. Jeremy, if you don't give us a baby green character, we will riot. I feel like that's the movie deal that I got. And I, I hate it. No, we don't want you to be Mr. Greens. We want you to be Mr. Greens as a six-year-old. Oh. Okay. okay, I guess. No, we don't want Bugleberry. We want Bugleberry in college. Mm. I... 
Okay, I don't really want to... This always happens at any arcade I've ever gone to that has this cabinet. Everybody points at it, and everybody does, like, the... Everybody has their mouth open pointing at Space Invaders. One person puts a coin in to play it. They die one time and walk away from the machine. Because they don't want to play it a second time. You realize, oh, wait, I've got, I've got two more lives. Oh, anybody want to jump in? It's like, no, not really. Uh, all right, well. Dude, I played the Punch-Out arcade machine, and I was so bad at it. I was, and I told, I told everybody. Oh, guys, I'm so good at Punch-Out. Punch-Out's my game. The arcade version is so hard. It's so much harder. I just look like a total dickhead. Because I see the Punch-Out arcade machine. I'm going, that's awesome. I punch out for NES, punch out for Super Nintendo, punch out for the Wii. Th these are my games. I love them. I could right now open up the Super Nintendo punch out and not get hit one time, at least through all the three major circuits. I could do it right now. You know how I know that? Because I did it like four days ago on the couch. Do it right now. That's not, no, I just know I can. Prove it. Maybe I'll prove it next time I stream. Maybe not, okay, maybe not no damage, but I won't be, I won't be knocked down once. In the first three, like, beating the regular game. The special, um, circuit is very hard. That's a lot less impressive. <laughs> Alright, so let me, let me, let me bait you guys with, like, a really awesome potential gamer thing. Get everybody excited and then change the rules right before it happens to something that's moderately, slightly, intermediately impressive. It's funkies. Whoa, this, all right, this is cool. <laughs> Not the back. Go to the back. <laughs> Not the back. I, okay, you want to know what's crazy? Think about this. From here to here, you are in a different store at Spunky's. Like, it's crazy that it's just like, oh, yeah, come on in. Look at all. There's like, oh, Luke Skywalker. Oh my God! Oh, look! There's a uh, a gorilla's T-shirt. Oh, where this is a this is a completely different store now. This is a different store, and I don't know if I should be in here. Don't forget the mushroom posters. That's right. And there was always right here, right here, right here, on a rack, right here. It would be right in front of me. There'd be a book where a a fart is coming out of some guy's ass. It's just a little book, and it's like oh it. it there's like a smoke fart coming out of a guy's ass. I don't even know what the product is. I just know that it's here. It's literally right here. Right next to the edible underwear. Yep. And if you're wondering, this is definitely where... Do you remember? This is like four years ago. when I Didn't I get in a fight with everybody here? Saying that there was a product where like, you put the coin in and like the guy like shits his pants or something. Somebody like farts. It's like a toy. And people were like, that's not real. And I was like, yes, it is. You put a coin, it's like a little bank. You put a coin in and it's like... <laughs> the guy like farts. It's a real product. And everybody told me, no way, dude, you're out of your mind. And then people were like, no, it's real. Actually, it is real. This was such a weird store. Yeah, and also, make sure you go right here to grab... They were always in the front of the store. Posters for movies that have not been relevant in 10 years. Well, I swear there's like an Indiana Jones 2 poster in here. And it's from 1990. All bands that broke up five years ago are in here. Yeah, Adam Sandler's click is in here. Exactly. That's correct. Hot tub time machine. Yep. What a fucking crazy place. That really is. Spencer's. Like, I can't imagine, like, being the person that was responsible for, like, oh, what's going to be in the store? All right, yeah. Well, we got to have uh, Finding Nemo. Uh, stickers have to be over here. And then, uh, yeah, just fill up the back with all, you know, the thing you put your hand on for the electricity. But also, we have to have the edible underwear. Uh, some of the other fucking pornographic material. Yeah, I think, uh, what's, hey, what's that book? What's that book where about all the sex positions? What's it called? Yeah, I want that over here. Put that like 10 feet to the left of the of the silly string. Yeah, what what an interesting thought. No other store I can think of you could leave 
with the funny science experiment, put your hand on the globe, and a sex position book in the same checkout counter. How much longer do you think you're going to be alive? I'm making it to 100. I'm going to make it to 100. They're going to interview me. I'm going to have like garlic around my neck. And like vials of, of Manuka honey that I swear by. No, I don't. I don't know if I would. I don't know if I'd want to be 100. I think 100 is... I think that's it's I don't know if I want to be 100 at 100. I'm not even sure like I'm trying to think of what how I my body would be functioning at 100 because I know how it functions now right now. I feel like at 100 if I accidentally like close my finger in a car door, my whole body is going to explode into dust. I just won't exist anymore. It'll just be like <gasps> gone. Just completely gone. That's it. When you get I don't know when you get to be 100. It's like that's remarkable. That's unbelievable. But that's when I start to see the person talking and their teeth come out like <laughs> that's what happens when you get to be 100. I don't know if I want to do that. I'm not sure. I don't really want to experience that at any point. I don't want to be mid sentence and be like, let me tell you about that rule in my mouth. My teeth are out and then your teeth are just gone out. I don't know if I, I don't know if I want that. I don't know if I want to do that. That sounds like something you would actually love doing. Actually, like, like, I don't know. I think that is actually kind of funny. All right. Nobody. All right, everybody stop. The next time that I am able to present, if I'm presenting something, I'm going to have fake teeth in and I'm going to, they're going to, oh, they're going to come out. <laughs> All right. This guy's shit faced. I'm never going into that piece of shit ever again. All that place does is take your fucking money. The slots don't even pay out. Don't even go in there. It's not even worth it. Give the controller back to your wife. She's way better at video games than you and has plus two Riz. <laughs>